Hello, hello. Here we are once again. Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Hot off the heels of our previous case, which led to the suicide of our victim slash suspect. Um, today we are going to buy some furniture and do some side quests here. Um, there. This is our first stop. Gentlemen, horses. Oh my god, you're perfectly in sync. Beautiful. Majestic beasts. Well choreographed. I guess while we're walking around, it would be nice to spot perhaps some of those treasures. Extra, extra! Right. Interested in some Cordona news? No, but I will. Oh, there's quite a few here. Uh, costume vigilante. Check the front page. You won't regret it. Uh-huh. That's usually where they keep the big stories. Exquisite furniture for your home. Oh. Hello. My goods will brighten up your house. An encyclopedia. A dinosaur skeleton. Enjoy your purchase. That was quite pricey, but... Um, up there's one. This one over here, we'll do this one, I suppose. Just because it's real close to this fast travel point. Another knife in the pillar. Yes, yeah, so what does each knife in the pillar mean? Honor, Blood Vengeance, Old Custom. Gyakmari, or Blood Vengeance, came to Cordona from Albania during the Ottoman rule. Some locals find it appalling, some but not all, and the Pillar of Knives stands high as a grim reminder of that. Okay, nice trivia. Um, we do have a side quest for the Pillar of Knives. So. Don't pass by. Oriental well, rugs at a. Marhaba. It's a good day for a purchase. Marhaba to you too. Dressing screen. Up. Uh, don't have enough money for the ritual dagger. May your Dang. purchase bring you joy. Okay. Oh. My mother's room has been restored to what it was ten years ago. Okay, well let's do that. Here. All right. Lickety split. See if we can get John to have another episode. Any mail? No, no mail. Are we going to move this into the. I feel like we should move this into the curio room. Oh, the room looks nice now. It's comforting to see the way it was meant to be. Okay. This doesn't seem like a, an appropriately sized dressing screen, being honest. I thought this was going to trigger a new memory, but instead it's... not. There's nothing here to Axiomon. Nothing new anyway. I see I see nothing new. Nothing anyway associated okay, well maybe It reminds me of my mother. Yes. This room always reeked with an acrid medicinal stench. And here is the reason. Because, like, with the music box, we got... Oh, maybe that's the new thing? Or not? Um, there's no new thing. Seashells, stuff. 
Got all that. Uh, straps straps assist. on the bed. Just doesn't look right. Okay. My mother loved flowers. They made us. You're not obliged to be here, Sherry. Every week we can leave any time you want. Okay, I guess there is no new memory. Okay, that's fine. Home sweet home, Sherry. Sure. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh. I gotta do the concentration. I forgot the concentration. My mother always preferred to spend her rare moments of lucidity with me. That's true. She even stopped Mycroft from joining you. Remember? I do. He didn't show it, but he was upset. I think mother paid more attention to me because I was younger. No, oh, it's because Mycroft was a f was as he is now a fucking pain in the ass. Um, in her rare blah blah blah. Okay, yes. Is that it? That's it. Okay. That was not worth the special trip, especially a return trip, because I forgot to do the concentration, but that's fine. What? I think we deserve a rest. Yeah. You must be completely knackered. You work so hard, John. It must be just... Oh. Now the mermaid's gone. It must just be exhausting constantly naysaying me and talking shit about me and all that kind of stuff honestly how do you cope all right well we have the iron coffin we have a rugged informant i think we should do the iron coffin because we already have some progress on that and we need to get to his shop which is Adler Street to the east of St. Clement's Cathedral in Scaladio. Um, Court of St. Hall, Church of St. Peter. Okay, to the east, uh, it's what, this? No, that's the sky, to the Adler Street to the east, yeah. So it is over here. Somewhere over here. On Adler Street to the well, I mean the whole of Adler Street is to the east of fucking. So it could be anywhere along this. So I'm gonna go to the city hall and I'm gonna walk the street, I suppose. A contest for the guests of Cordona. Fine. This is Adler Street. Yes. Irene Adler. Nothing on that sign. What's this? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, there it is. Armor Copel. They sure do sell safes here. Hello there. Sup? Ill-fitting pants, wonky nose, and hair that appears to have been cut by your own hand. You must be Billy Lloyd. Oh, it's you! I knew you'd come. You did? You're Mirko Gallia, the best investigative journalist on Cordona. 
I'm a fan of your work. Alas, you're mistaken. The name is Sherlock and your employer... Oh, of course. Discretion. I'm sorry. I'm a policeman upstairs heard me, though, so your secret is safe with me, Sherlock. You saw the burglar. Mr. Capello told me you were present during the burglary and scared the criminal off the property. Yeah, you should have seen it. As soon as the burglar saw me, they went white as death. Ran out the back door of the office. I heard a thud and cat shrieks, so I think they went over the railing and into the bushes out back. Clearly, my reputation precedes me. Mr. Capello was so proud. Hmm, you're a guard, but you didn't give chase. Well, by the time I made it outside, they were miles away. So I went back to help Mrs. Capello. That kind of gentlemanly courtesy is why I'm so well regarded around these parts. You are having an affair with Mrs. Capello. You both planned this together. What did the thief look like? Shorter than me. Mid-twenties. A huge scar across the right cheek going from the eye. Short hair. She didn't look like a ghost. Too corporeal. Hold on. She? You didn't think to mention the burglar was a woman? Why did you assume it was a man? It's the 19th century, sir. Ambitious young women are out there pursuing a career. And I, for one, encourage it. Yes, yes, spare me the sermon. Pathetic. When did the burglary happen? Oh, uh, after ten in the evening. I was just talking to Mrs Capello. Does she normally work this late? No, it's the first time it happened. But usually I'm alone at night. I was explaining Dreamer. to Mrs Capello how drinking water every three hours can help with digestion. When she excused herself and went back upstairs. Then there was a scream and uh, I ran up to the office and... I know what happened next, thank you. What about last evening? Do you have any more details about the break-in? Of course. I write down everything that happens during my watch. Take a look. Fastidious in its mundanity, but I will make of it what I can. I must go and inspect the crime scene. If I have further questions, Mr. Lloyd, I will find you. Oh, don't worry. I won't be able to keep away. Right. Okay. I knew there wasn't the crime scene, I just wanted to inspect the uh, bathroom quick. Um, excuse me. Oh, these are just... Uh, I knew that those were uh, real fake doors. Don't mind me, I'm investigating. Is that a flashbulb? Wow. That's, uh... Quite an introduction. Sup, photographer guy. You doing your oh, job? Why do I get the worst jobs? This is definitely not the worst job. You can do way worse than this. Alright, we got some Bimo. The bottle is half empty. Half empty, but one glass. So, I was expecting two. A wine. Well enjoyed. Oh, there's the second glass. Hastily Recently stashed. Used, but why would it be here? Hastily stashed. Uh, one, two, three, four, five total glasses. Wow, that uh, flu is closed. Somebody want to open the flu before we suffocate? Eh, you'll be fine. I'll get right to you. I'll, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. You, you hang tight there, dead body. Is that... Sage? Um, is this the same wine, or was it purchased specially for... It is the same. Okay. It seems like... Type of the body. Uh, number one, gruesome. Blood on the safe door could have been left by the victim. We're not going to say anything about the deep ass gouges in it. How did he even manage that? I see no tools here. 
Clear indications of blunt trauma, possibly inflicted before the victim was in the safe. Yes, but he also has foam around his mouth as if he's been Bulging poisoned. veins, cyanosis, bloodshot eyes, odd foaming in the mouth. He was poisoned and beaten and suffocated in Bruises, safe. torn nails, bleeding was severe and continued at length. Ah. Damn it. Clothes are not fully buttoned. Was the victim dressing or undressing? What a rotten way to die. Yeah, what a shame. Hmm. Okay. Looks like we can do a chemical analysis on them. So let's do. Negative four, four, and one. Oops. Increment to negative four. Oh. That's the wrong. Oh, there we go. Uh, three. Increment. Reverse. Uno reverse card. Four, and do we have a one? Uh, no. But we do have a four that we can divide and then decrement. There we go. Light intox that was a lot of foaming at the mouth for light intoxication. Are you kidding me? All right, here's our timeline around 10 a.m. Basilio gives a full demo of the safe to the contents. Okay. Okay, we're going to be scrutinizing this timeline uh, much more closely later. Um, the... oh, hey, I ain't ready for That's that about yet. all of you I can take. I ain't ready for that yet. Oh, why do I get the worst jobs? Okay. So this is where she says she was working. Detti family returns home. Nicola Detti, a young heir to the Detti family business, has returned to Gordon after 12 years of studying and working on the mainland. This coincides with Orza Orzio, Orazio, or, yeah, Orazio, Detti's departure to Italy and hints at the possibility that Nicola is intending to take over the family business in Cordona. We will be watching the situation closely as it develops and will endeavor to obtain a reaction from Basilio Capello. The Capello and Teddy feud has been existent for over 200 years, and even though his ac this acrimony has been muted for the past few decades, some still remember the conflicts of Gonzalo Deddy and Vitalio Capello era. Uh, but it's a common business attitude, okay. Apparently their feud is very famous. Please. Senor Capel. It has come to my attention that Nicola Deddy is soon to return to Gordona. We don't know what that means for the future of the Deddy family, but Orazio or 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 seems set on staying in Roma, so take that as you will. 
I want to strongly advise on behalf of the whole family that you avoid contact with Nicola. We have no doubt that you will be able to retain your composure, even if provoked, but we do not know what the deadies are planning. Be on your guard. This family reputation is at stake. Polkadot boy. On a scheduled plan, there are several noteworthy recent entries. First, a meeting with a detective from several weeks ago. And second, two dates labeled with the safe yesterday and today. Well-organized workplace. Mr. Capello is the best. Okay, this chap is seriously creepy. Grand presentation from the famous Italian orchestra. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, uh, ow. Hmm. Orchestra dell'Accademia Nazionale di Santa Canzona, Cortona Opera House. From a few years ago. Why? A concert program from seven years ago. Oh, right. When Augusta uh, La Duccia is yeah, listed she... as a harpist in the orchestra. Augusta, we do not have time today for a chat because of my important client meeting. I'm concerned about your desire to work such late hours. You seemed happy about it. That is why I did not bring it up previously, but perhaps it's best that we have a conversation. I'm sure we can find a different arrangement. Two theatre tickets for Shakespeare's Othello. The performance is tomorrow. <laughs> I have to respect the classics. Hmm. Is there anything outside worth finding? discovered by Augusta Capello and Billy Lloyd, so this, if indeed it is the truth, we should find evidence out here of this burglary. Cat? 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 A kitty cat. This doesn't seem to be the right way. is okay <laughs> um let's i guess go from the other direction then 
This is the door they were meant to have broken into. Okay, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be looking for. Um, yeah, bushes in the backyard. Oops. So, down here, jumped over the railing, and then came down. Bushes. Oh, there's lockpicks there. I did not see that. The letter F is inscribed within a four-leaf clover pattern. A comprehensive set of lockpicks, recently cleaned with no fresh scratches. Pass muraille. Walk through walls in French. Our thief seems rather arrogant. Okay. That is a criminal signature, sure. To the archives. Okay, um... Instruments of the crime would be lockpicks, crimes, property crimes. And we want suspects. Felicia Sevignon, age 26, currently affiliated with the Backyard Boys gang, acting as their master burglar. The Backyard Boys have a hideout on Clay Street in Central Miner's End. That's a long way away. She has a distinctive scar on her right cheeks, gives conflicting stories as to its origin, but it has had it since at least the age of 18, after her parents died at sea. And she wasted her inheritance. Felicia turned to crime. She has been arrested several times, but been cooperative with the law, lessening the severity of her punishments. Okay, so... Clay Street, Central Miners. Uh, maybe it would be wise to take a look around outside before we enter. Just a thought. Okay. I suppose we could, John. I suppose we could. John, is just to keep my ear to the ground when near the back backyard boys. Backyard boys. Okay. Central Miner's End. Clay Street. Where was it? Um, just a central miners end on Clay Street. Okay. Oh well. Here's Clay Street. It's no close. But oh my God, that's so far away. Ah, so far away. Look out below! News boy! Nothing new for you, I'm afraid. I'm afraid too, sometimes. It's okay.
Here's the spot, but we're supposed to keep our own. Other eyes. gangs are planning an attack on the backyard, boys. The pipe. The pipe. Bigger employments. This. Other gangs are planning it. I was yeah. being very stealthy, Sherlock, and you threw it all away. Come on, pull yourself together. Other gangs are planning it. That was right. It seems that the backyard boys have mobilized due to the botched robbery of Armor Capello by Felicia Sauvignier. They believe that another gang set them up and they are going to attack soon. We overheard, however, that the Pipe, the limping inform information broker of the gang, is calling on his beggar informants. The Pipe can be found in the marketplace in Central Miners and on Market Road. Marketplace. The worst clothes at the best price. Despite being used, take a look. Maybe something will catch your eye. Wow, I expected things here to be cheap. And by all rights, they should be. <clears throat> a lobster inside a dead cat. Interesting. Okay. But they're both go away expensive. if you don't want to buy. Well, I can to. Get the fuck out of my way. Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> um. All right. Uh, apparently, you need a disguise. I don't know. How. How I'm supposed to be disguised. Probably as a um, beggar, since that's what he's looking for. Seems to be the best I can do. So I am looking for... He's known as the Pipe. And he has a limp. I've got some information for you. Heard you were asking. Have you now? Well, let's hear it. Oh, I have a choice. Um, I'm guessing we tell them the attack is off and then that reduces the number of people we have to fight. Let's see. I mean, I might as well make it easier on myself, right? Don't see any reason not to. So the bandits, right? Not coming. Bigger fish to fry, they say. Bigger worries. Interesting. Are you absolutely sure? 
Heard it with my own ears. Lord is my witness. Oh, good. Here you go. Buy yourself something nice. Might I suggest soap? Ah, oh, thank you, mister. Thank you. What a simpleton. Supposed to be Philip from London. Good impression. Okay. Um, now I'm supposed to go back and fight them? I really don't. Really have to. <laughs> the best of flea markets cannot buy some I, uh, clothes and help me feed my family. An even more convincing story, and just have them all just kind of give up and surrender. Be nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're gonna do battle, we have to put on our battle clothes. Let's see. Um. Let's see, have we, uh, have we done a fight? Bohemian. We are ready. We've got our battle. Battle makeup. I couldn't miss the party. Don't bother moving. You've lost. Get ready for some pain. Oh, don't cry, you'll live. We could at least have a perks system to make this whole process much less painful. Like, let me spend four points to extend the time by slow or no something. More. Give him the pepper. Stick. Time to knock this guy out. Two for one. That's how it's done. Don't cry, you'll live. No more crime for you until next month. Ow. Ow. How do you do? I couldn't miss the party. Take a rest, my friend. I'm coming for you. I can overcome the brute now. I couldn't miss the party. Too simple. Give him the pepper snuff. <laughs> He's taking too much of the pepper snuff there, John. Take a rest, my friend. I to be the done. snuff's I'm ready. Done. I'm not done. I'm reload. Hey, you could have kept him alive. I'm fine. I'm good. Thanks. Okay, okay, I give up. I give up. Okay, I've killed before. I'm willing to do it again. This seems a better place for our conversation. I hope you're more talkative than your friends, Miss Sevenia. You can't do anything. You're not even a policeman. And I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. Is there nothing you didn't do, Miss Sevigny? Thieve for the gang? Break into the Armour Capello office? Kill Niccolo Detti? I... What? Kill? I didn't kill nobody. No, I... How? So you admit the rest. I suppose you won't mind explaining some things to me then. Observe. I see that you have eyes. I see that you're wearing a necklace. 
Oh, nice. I see that you have a shoulder. Cat claw marks. When she was seven years, a burglar and a thief in her mid-twenties. There are claw marks on her torn trousers from which she clumsily fled the scene of the crime. Okay. She has a locket that conceals a lock pick a jack that she is ready to vanish discreetly at the slightest alert as if she were never there at all. There are claw marks on her, there she has a locket that her jacket is double-sided for a quick disguise. She is proud of her trade and showing it off, but only to the trained eye. Um... Does it matter if they seem... This just says her jacket is double-sided. It doesn't really give a reason why. Um, it describes them as posh clothes, though I don't know if double-sided clothing is necessarily posh. Um, I don't know. I don't think it really matters. They seem relatively sim the same. You were in the Armour Capello office yesterday evening, Miss Sevigny. The same place that Niccolo Detti was found dead today. What happened? How would you know? You can't prove anything? It's written all over you, Miss Sevigny. I presume you did not intend your evening to end with a fall over the railing and a fracas with felines? Need I continue? I... Oh, zut alors. It was just a job, nothing else. I was asked to come. Here, see for yourself. I don't know who hired me, but I think they wanted to pin the crime on me. Poor Niccolo. You knew Mr. Detti, how? Niccolo and I grew up together. I hadn't seen him in years, then ran into him on the street, smiling with some lovely lady on his arm. I was right about the affair, but I was wrong. It's not with Lloyd, it's with Detti. That's what Detti was doing there to begin with. She put him in the safe to hide him. And that was the last time you saw him alive? Wait, until I found him dead yesterday. Watchman. That same woman was there, too. It can't be coincidence. You saw a woman in the office? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She started screaming, sure so I slammed yeah. the safe door and ran when I saw a guard coming. When were you offered this job? Ah, oh, mon dieu. Um, I don't remember precisely. I... I think the letter arrived around 9.30 in the evening. It sounded tricky, but the money was good. And you arrived at the office? Perhaps 45 minutes later? I am very good, sir. I was in and out in five minutes. I don't like lies. No, no, wait. Um, okay. It took 15 <laughs> minutes. All right? Still impressive, no? Your thieving days may well be over, Miss Sevigny. Until this matter is resolved, you will remain here. Good day. Oh, Sherry, disappointing. We were putting on a show and you call it off halfway through. Shut up. All right. The wife is guilty. She was having an affair. What exactly was your relationship with Niccolo Detti? Uh, who? Uh, what are you talking about? Madam, please. A young woman dedicated her music and an enthusiastic artist. Your marriage to Basilio could not have offered all you needed. And then about six months ago, you met Niccolo Detti. There was a spark. You started to see each other. It brought passion back into your life. How c could you? But your tryst didn't go unnoticed. Felicia seven years spotted you with Niccolo, but rather than cease your affair, you took care to avoid the public eye. You started working with your husband at the office and met your lover there in the evening after Basilio departed. Billy would not notice, and you hoped neither would your husband. Do I have this right so far? I... Yes. I love Basilio, I truly do. But his first passion is his work. I, I respect that, but it left me... The only question Adrift. is who's actually responsible Nicolo. for the death. <laughs> Sweet Niccolo. He was the man I needed. Were they if together and then they were interrupted by the I, thief? Quickly stashed a wine glass and she hid Diddy in the safe. 
Or but is he it was the other way around? And your husband suspected Not something. Not the other way around, I... but is it... I think he did. He asked questions. Billy's schedule was moved forwards here. Yes. Yes, he suspected. So was it you? And thus we arrive at the heart of the matter. How did Mr. Detty end up deceased in the safe? I... I do not know. Madam? I don't know anything about his death. Are you sure this is how you wish to proceed? It is the truth. Please, just leave me be. Okay. Unknown client, she was in the woman who collapsed. Okay, we'll scrutinize the timeline. I think that that's where the devil is going to be as far as the details go. Um, the seven yay, I am in need of urgent assistance. I'm going to have you 10 15 p.m. Leave the back door, I will leave it open for you. We will proceed to the next door to a large decorated safe. That is your target. This is probably he who hired her, huh? Full demo of the safe. So he works alone in the office until the arrival of his wife. She arrives at the office. Basilio leaves the office, goes home. Billy arrives at the office and says hello to Augusta. Basilio returns to the office via the back door and talks to Augusta. Basilio walks down to check on Billy. Basilio leaves for a business dinner. All the late dinner, but okay. Augusta remains to work at the office. Billy is reading a book at the front door. Alicia receives a letter about the Amor Capella job and decides to take it. She goes down to talk to Billy. Felicia enters the office, starts working on the safe. So... She hears a female scream and slams the safe door closed. Hmm. So two of them definitely knew that he was dead then before. Hmm. Good question. Um, <laughs> Felicia enters the office. It has to be Augusta. It has to be Augusta. He was dead before Felicia entered. Basilio hired Felicia. Or did. We don't know what the daddy's whereabouts are during this time. When did Nicolo... Enter the building. <sighs> Presumably, sometime after I 
I don't think Basilio would have had an opportunity to kill Deddy. He would have had to... He would have had to do it after Deddy arrived at the office. And Augusta was there the whole time. Augusta's got to be responsible. Just not exactly sure... I'm not exactly sure on the motive or the means. It is a shame it has come to this, but it is patently obvious that you are responsible for Niccolò Detti's death. How... how dare you? I wouldn't want him to... I... I see you need some persuasion. I know that Niccolò Detti went to the office to meet you. Yeah, that I know. Um, okay, so what was the window of opportunity? Um, that's gonna be... okay, so what exemplifies that? Um, we know that he had, he was lightly intoxicated, he was drinking wine with her. So it's either going to be, it could be this one, because this shows that he was drinking wine. I don't think it's the keys. It's not this. It's not that. The safe room where the deceased was covered features a meeting area. This is okay. This is our opportunity. They were together drinking wine. It was a midnight tryst. Niccolo would visit the office once Basilio left, but this time he returned. So you hid Niccolo in the safe. Ah, right. A foolish yeah, he move. came back a couple hours later. I didn't know the code had changed. It was the only choice. I, c I couldn't let him be found. I loved him. Really? You could have saved his life by simply speaking with your husband, but you sought to free him another way. Okay. So then the means. Um... Where's our timeline again? Here it is. Oh. Basilio didn't hire Felicia. Basilio didn't hire Felicia. Augusta did. The wife hired Felicia. Hired, him, hired her to come and open the safe. She screamed because she didn't realize that he was dead in there. He was trying to get, he didn't, re yeah, she didn't realize he had died. She thought he was merely locked in there. She screamed because she didn't mean to kill him. So the letter, the letter to Felicia. To free Mr. Detty, you hired Felicia Sevenier, a petty burglar to crack the safe. And as a result, you killed your lover. No, I... It's because the combination had changed. It is not my fault. You are splitting hairs, Mrs. Capello. The fact remains you chose to risk Niccolo's life rather than call your husband. And I know why. To hide the affair? Seems pretty... Self-explanatory. Oh, where's, there was a letter from the lawyer that said that. Um... The, uh, this, the, uh, feud. It was more than just their marriage. Um, yes? You were afraid how it would affect the reputation of the Capellos, and you feared what your husband would do as a consequence. It's... I... He's a good man, but he cares about his business, about the family. It would have destroyed him. And now he's accused of murder, Mrs. Capello. How considerate of you. Yeah, exactly. I... Your plan Mio is fucking Dio, dumb. How did this all happen? Okay, so what does it mean if I say you can fix this? Like, what is that implying? Um...
what is you can fix this mean. <laughs> I I have no idea. Um, does this mean I'm letting her off the hook? Uh, whatever. Despite your best intentions, Mrs. Capello, I believe you are to blame for this sorry affair, not Basilio. Yeah, hundred percent. I, I think you're right, sir. Basilio, he he does not deserve this. None of this. It is not my place to decide what is deserved. But perhaps you now know what to say to the inspector. I do. Good day, madam. I don't think Mrs. Capello did this on purpose. I would have let her go. I don't think she did it on purpose, but that doesn't mean that she's not responsible, you know? She may not have intended to kill somebody, but she did intend to do a series of things that led to that result. As Sherlock said, she could have stopped it at any time by simply doing the right thing. But instead, she decided to step out on her marriage. And then she decided to see... I mean, she decided to step out on her marriage with somebody she knew had a history with her husband's family. She decided to hide him when they were interrupted. She decided not to get help from him when she couldn't get the safe open she decided to hire a burglar to come in and do it i mean it, at the very least is a callous disregard for the feelings of her husband and her lover not to mention the safety of her lover obviously she didn't mean to do it but that doesn't mean she's not responsible for it there's a reason why we're supposed to make adult choices because instead of worrying about just ourselves, we worry about everybody to make the world better for people who can't for themselves. John. And on that note, that's another part in the can. Right? It's done? Yes. Okay. Um, oh, we have 106 monies. Maybe we should spend that quick before we're done. Um, let's do. I still don't know what this. Maybe there's a quest there waiting to be picked up. Maybe Yasmin has a uh, quest for us now that she's become disillusioned with Mycroft. Uh, this way. Let's check that out and yeah, pick up that side quest if one is indeed available. Hello, you annoying freak. Do you have something to tell I me? I wish to be alone. No? Okay. Does somebody else have something? Killed with one ah. perfect shot to there each eye. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? People are talking about a man who was killed in the old ruins on the southwestern side of Prince Surrey. Apparently both his eyes were shut out. That strains credulity, but it is worth investigating. Okay. Alright, with my 106 monies, that sounds like it's going to be interesting, but I'm not going to do it right now because we're almost done with this part. But I have 106 monies and we will spend those monies on... Uh, well, we have that there. Um, looks like that's the place. Oh, and there's some in the market at Miner's End as well. We'll see how far this 106 monies gets us. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hector, going out for my homie. Refresh your interior. Pick what you my stop. goods will brighten up your house. Oh, it's the same stuff that's for sale at the other place. Convenient. Okay, disgusting weird rat creature and jar of guts. Enjoy your purchase. And confirmed. 
That is the same stuff that was for sale there, so we don't have to make a second trip. Do we have any other stuff for sale? No, no. Got some coins that we have yet to collect. Oh, there's this one. I don't remember how many monies I have, though. Uh, 31 monies. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Don't pass. Oriental. Marhaba. It's a good day for a purchase. Yes. Nope, not quite enough. Don't hurry, we can bargain. Hey. Let's pick something that suits you. Um office casual. Become a bureaucrat. White suit. Honestly, with the money situation here, I'm getting to a point where I'm about to cheat just so that I can get enough money to buy some of this shit. I'm tired of nickel and diming my way through this game. Yes, perhaps next time I'll cheat. <laughs> Don't leave. Give myself Take one more look here, so I can nice buy affordable some clothes. Outfits, I guess. Step right up. Um, but that's it for this uh, this one. So, thanks for tuning in. Uh, appreciate it. Have a good day. See you next time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera.